All right, hello everyone. My name is Adam Twilight, this is Hexmania, and welcome back to Dog and Roompa. Though uh, you may have noticed a little bit of a change in the intro there, a little bit of a change in uh, what's going on here, uh, I decided to update uh, some stuff. So the intro and outro are updated, and um, you can now see that uh, I have uh, a little avatar that actually uh, lets me speak. And, uh, well, I mean, I could speak before, but it was just an avatar in the corner. Uh, specifically, very, very old art of myself. So, uh, I thought it was time to update the art, possibly get into some PNG tuber type shit. Uh, and I think this is working really, really well. So, we're just going to continue from where we left off, and just, yeah. So, anyways. <clears throat> Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair, there was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but what's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. What? Then that means... Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey. I suppose sometimes it's easiest to mix uh, miss what's right, uh, rah, right beneath your nose. Well then, we'd better go check. Indeed. Good idea. Uh, but yeah, uh, recap, we dealt with trial three. So, yeah. Um, we left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As so we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. Why exactly are you going alone? Do you even have to Do you even have to, ha uh, do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. You. Please let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Hmph, do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakuya. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. And it's up to you now. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? Ah, uh, does that mean what I think it means? Good luck, Makoto! Girls like her are total pushovers and you show a little backbone! <laughs> <clears throat> I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. So we need to get into the locker. Kyoko took the key the Celeste had given her and unlocked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we saw... Good morning! <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? It's safe, G thank goodness. I never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and... I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a little while, lo uh, while longer. So now we can officially say that the case, uh, the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second... Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me. Why are you trying to do all on- uh, What are you trying to do all on your- uh, uh, All on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However, Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know? That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like, what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that, it's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I- I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's what I- that's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. 
then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then, fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see, what I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided to confirm what she'd told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when it did, I went into action. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way in the back, she said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Okay. That's not the right... What do you mean by the storage locker? There we go. Just normal storage closet as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about, could it really be hidden in here? She said it was way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. Oh, is that a hidden door? Is that like if I were being yanked in? Oh, gashunk. At the same time I heard that sound, I fell right through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Ba bump. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door and I'd made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. But what's in here? There's a bunch of files and what look like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Host week of Academy of Student Registry? This is the only thing here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I set the file into my hand, but before I had a chance to take a look at it, I saw the paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. What's this? You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I understand if it's... And, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. A strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I, I... Oh, shit! <laughs> A strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Ow. Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. An empty bookshelf. Uh-huh. Empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. But for now, I should go back to my room, get some rest. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. Mm -hmm. The further I walked, I walked, the more I felt. Things are getting blurry. Can't see in front of me. I could have stopped myself from collapsing right there. After that? Hmm? As if from a vast distance I heard a sound. It was faint but undeniable. That sound. It's coming from the gym? As I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? Can't be nothing here in the gym. All right, guess we're going in. <laughs> Didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Oh shit! 
Sakuraden. <laughs> Sakuraden and Matakuma are fighting. Performing their rage battle beyond anything humanely possible. No, one size not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. I'm going to resist you. Okay. Huh. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? What I'm holding hostage? What am I looking at? What am I hearing? <laughs> A hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is Chapter three officially complete Okay, so there's seven of us left. Oh boy. To be continued. Ooh, spooky. The super robot chest is present. Oh my goodness. Yes, I like to save. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. Then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. And she got executed. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. Only a third of the number we started with. Loneliness has become commonplace. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay, okay in that case, let's eat till we pass out. What, what, what do you mean in that case? Well, cause look, well, cause look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be all, cause you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up, so let's eat. Let's fry out some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. That's like a deep in text style meteor impact extinction level event combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast time for top sellers. Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. <clears throat> That's right, since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right. We need to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it. Yeah, yeah, think happy thoughts, not deadly thoughts. You know? Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? Serious. When this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious. Or, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Whoa. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. I'm totally okay, I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Oh, uh, what makes you so sure? According to the spirits, I predicted it last night since it revealed itself to me from the either. There's no doubt about it. However, How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? I could usually hit 20 or 30 percent on a good day. That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only going to get it right sometimes. I told you, my fortune telling isn't... Like some occult thing. Fortune killing isn't a cult? Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Cattle. What? 
He's referring to the urban legend where al uh, aliens abduct cows and dissect them as a part of their research. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to go and get a hamburger. It was a I was. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their baddies was over 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. What? And before long, the, the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked out of my hamburger. As soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then... And then still, floating there, the burger started coming apart. still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished while the rest of it fell back in my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. <laughs> now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. I can't tell if you're for the cult or against it. You stink of stupidity. I stink of- how dare you? Well, you just stink though. That's fine. That's fine? Um, anyway. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. Well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. Me either. Nor I. They go through me too. Of course, I can never kill any of my friends. The power of friendship. <laughs> uh, I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But, to be honest, I wish Byakuya and Toko were here for this too. But, they're so hard to deal with. They only think of themselves. Yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond had a weakness and fragility. All star apologies. <laughs> we began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Alright, we get to explore now. I don't think anything here has opened up, so I think it's just all in the uh, next floor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, that that's still blocked off. Okay. So uh, let's spend our coins real quick, and then I think we'll end the episode after I spend the coins, and then we'll explore next episode. So. I'm just gonna... Wait, how much does it change if I put in 10? Oh, not that much, okay. I'm just gonna do five at a time. Slowly getting through it. 
slowly but surely. Wait, was that a condom? <laughs> I couldn't tell, I was like, what the fuck? What was that? Okay. Slowly but surely. At least I'm not doing them one at a time anymore, cause like... Oh boy, that would be very annoying. <laughs> I'm sure it's very annoying for you guys before, so... <laughs> Alright. Just a bit more. Another touch tone telephone, I see. Sorry. Dumb joke, dumb joke. Ah. Oh. Okay. Just a few more and then. Last one. Alright, wonderful. 